Are you Lord of Sound Motors? Here's a delivery from the SEC. What is that in your hand? Are you Lord of Sound Motors? The Department of Justice has a request for you. I already have one. Do I really need another one? I had had plans to take some time away from the continuing Lordstown Motors saga. As fate would have it, over the last few weeks, Lordstown Motors has received subpoenas from the SEC and from the DOJ. The question is, does this matter? Classic case of buy the rumor, sell the news. I'm Jonathan. I bring you the market in context through the lens of believability so you can save time, trade, invest your way, and make money. If you're enjoying this content, please take a second to support the channel. The SEC and the DOJ have launched separate and distinct investigations into Lordstown Motors and their activities. The SEC has launched an investigation into Lordstown Motors activities into their Go public transaction as well as their pre-order. Lordstown Motors discloses Justice Department investigation as truck launch looms. The Securities and Exchange Commission asked in a pair of subpoenas for documents related to the company's merger with Diamond Peak a special purpose acquisition company. Lordstown Motors has confirmed the Justice Department is investigating its business, including the SPAC deal that brought the company public last year and its reporting of pre-orders. In a regulatory filing Thursday, the company said it has been informed by the U.S. Attorney's Office in Manhattan of its investigation, which follows one initiated by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. The company said it has cooperated and will continue to cooperate with these and any other regulatory or governmental investigation and inquiries. The Securities and Exchange Commission investigates and has purview to investigate transactions related to securities as well as exchanges. The SEC has purview over the market. The SEC has the right and responsibility to investigate in order to impose civil penalties. The SEC does not have the opportunity to impose criminal penalties. The SEC investigates companies and individuals for broad range of securities related offenses. SEC can directly pursue administrative and civil penalties. It also refers cases to the Justice Department for criminal prosecution when warranted. The SEC would refer a case to the DOJ if they feel that the situation, the violations are so extreme or the situation is criminal in nature. Common violations that may lead to SEC investigations include misrepresentation or omission of important information about securities, manipulating the market prices of securities, selling unregistered securities. Just because a case is recommended to the DOJ from the SEC does not mean that it will become a criminal investigation or criminal charges will be brought, but it could be an indicator. The DOJ can pursue criminal prosecution and criminal charges if they feel the facts and circumstances of an investigation warrant this prosecution. The or Department of Justice has a much larger purview. They are focused on not just the markets, not just exchanges, but also on all things, specifically with criminal investigations in mind. That means the DOJ can start their own investigations if they choose to do so. They don't have to wait for a recommendation from the SEC. The, both the SEC and the DOJ are reviewing the facts and circumstances, investigating the situation around the Go public transaction with the SPAC Diamond Peak Holdings in a reverse merger last year. SPACs can cut up to 75% off the time it takes for a company to get its stock trading on an exchange versus a traditional initial public offering. SPACs can also make it easier to get prospective buyers on board they're also reviewing the pre-orders that Lower Sound Motors had used to generate so much attention in the past. I covered the topic of pre-orders in my last video on Ride. You can check it out here if you'd like. Do these new investigations matter or are they just a publication of what we already expected based on what came out of the Hindenburg Research Report and what we've seen in the news lately? I'm going to take two shots at this. First, I'm going to take a look at what happened here over the past few weeks since these investigations have been confirmed and been coming to light. We can see here that Lordstown Motors stock price has been declining over the past few weeks, especially since the DOJ investigation joined the SEC investigation, or at least a confirmation of the DOJ investigation and SEC investigation have been made public. However, I do not think that this is anything new. I think that this is just the publication of something we should have all been expecting because of all the attention and the change in management. 
To me, this doesn't seem like anything new. This seems like the same story over and over again, just put out there in the media so that the media can sell some more advertisements. There is, however, a caveat. If the DOJ investigation progresses to the status of criminal investigation and criminal charges are filed, then we could have an interesting topic on our hands. If you're a lawyer out there and would like to shed more light on the situation, the investigations, feel free in the comment section below. That's all I have for today. See you next time. Jonathan out.